What is up, guys? Strategist 420 here. Back with another episode. This is going to be episode 21 of Once Human. Last we left off, we were trying to do uh, the hardest in in industries. And, uh, yeah. Still looking for that mythical crate. This leads to the sewer. Don't want to do that. So. There we go. Oof. Just jumped off the edge. I didn't check in this whole map. Hell yeah. Miss Han told me the details of the story in the settlement. Her supervisor from the star from the head somehow managed to survive the initial attack by the great ones and all my several colleagues. But what happened after this was not easy, right? Plant workers were desperate and scared. They blamed the factory owner for the attack. Not that there's anything that they could have done for it, of course. So my family, the ones who first brokered positive entry to the island, the workers, Druid, the 
Paralyzed by fear, Lynch the plant manager's brother, Nelson and Donald Sala, did not turn their uncontrollable anger on the rest of the Sutherland family. Men and women, children, no one was spared. It's been more than ten years, and Miss Hahn was still on the verge of tears. She told me the story. She said after witnessing all the destruction, she left the plant alone and headed out into the wilderness on foot. Somehow, despite the stardust and circling of the great one, she managed to survive. Miss Hahn has never set foot in the chemical plant again since, nor does she know what happened to the other workers. There's no trace of life in the plant now. But from what they left behind, it seems Miss Han was right. A group of humans used this place as a shelter after a storm fell. Looks like they managed to hold on two years, one year, maybe less. And it's easy to see why. There wasn't much of ways of food stores lying around the, co around when the plant was completely barren. Even now, the poisonous of the star stardust runs deep. Cooper, okay. that elevator this whole time. Oh, fuck. Well, looks like this whole area is clear.
Hold it right there and identify yourself. You ever hear of the Mayflies? I'm here to solve problems, not cause them. Oh, yeah. You've got one of those weird backpacks. A uh, cradle, right? We had another one of you guys come by here not too long ago. He didn't exactly impress anyone. So, you here to clean up his mess? We've got a pretty urgent Stardust problem. But how do I know you'll actually help? Uh, I can't make any promises if I don't know what's going on. It's like going to the doctor. You've got to diagnose the illness before you can solve it. Well, at least you're a better talker than that last Mayfly. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna check with the mayor. I'm right here. Let the Mayfly in. Understood, ma'am. Maxi Rodriguez. I'm the mayor here. I'm a Mayfly. You've probably never heard of me, but I heard about your town when I was traveling north. You've got something strange going on here? Strange is putting it lightly. It's been about half a year now. Pregnant animals here, even pregnant people, all get infected by stardust and turn into these trees. Not normal trees, either. We tried everything to save them. None of it worked. You can go ahead and see for yourself. There's some strange shit, all right. All right, Cradle Overdrive unlocked now. All right, features to help you in combat. Unlock the corresponding note to enjoy the benefits. There you have it. A different cradle allowing you to tailor your gear, combat style. Scenario. Okay. Now, let's get down to business. We've got nowhere else to go, and so far no one else who can solve this problem. Two months ago, a Mayfly going by the name of Talon arrived. We hired him to fix the problem. Instead, he ran away with his deposit. I'm not inclined to trust any more Mayflies, but I also don't have any other options. You'd better not let us down like he did. You have my word I'll fix this. Is there anything else you think I should know about this case? Does that big monolith that Rosetta built count? That thing's been here about as long as me. It's been abandoned for 20 years, until all of a sudden six months ago, it lit up with a giant beam of light. Six months ago? Yep, right around the time we started getting this tree trouble. I figured there's gotta be a connection between the two, but it's too dangerous around the monolith. No one can get close to there. I'll check it out then. Anywhere else I should go? Yeah. An area called High Banks, north of here. It's by the bridge and the south bank of the river. What is it? Sometimes junk or animal carcasses wash up there, so it attracts beasts and desperate people looking for food. You might find something useful. Why do I feel like you have someone in mind? There was a woman. The town voted to kick her out, collectively. She, well, she was also infected. 
Later, deep in high banks, I saw it. Her. She didn't look like Agnes. She became something else, something I can't describe. I think she might have been the very first to be infected. The first infected person? That sounds useful. When you say she was infected, then was she also... Pregnant? Yeah. I never said life out here was easy. Any other questions? Hey, what was up with that Mayfly who came here before me? Why didn't he solve the problem? Who the hell knows? Hadn't seen a Mayfly for years. Didn't even know there were any left in Nowcott. Then he showed up two months ago wearing his cradle, looking all gloomy. Depressed. We didn't have many other options, so I asked him if he could solve our problem. He didn't say much, took some food and batteries as a deposit, then did some research. I saw him coming in and out for a few days. In the end, he crept out without saying a word. All he left behind were some ripped up notes and empty cans. Wait a minute, what kind of notes? Were they research into deviations? They're full of broken symbols and jargon. Just impossible to understand. I tossed them into the corner of the market's office if you want to see them yourself. He really left without a trace. Some residents saw him sneak out through the north gate before dawn. If he didn't go to that swamp you came from, then he must have gone to a settlement called Greywater northwest of here. Anyway, we never saw him again. Communications with Greywater have been cutting out recently. So I don't know if that son of a bitch ever passed through or not. Alrighty. Let's go look at his notes. Okay, that wasn't useful. Interesting. Interesting.
is this toad? Uh, what the fuck? Sure, I unlocked the settlement. Okay. What the hell? This is a good way to end off the episode here. Till next time, guys. Oh. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, I'm going to end off this video here. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. And uh, check out my other social medias and my Twitch. Until next time, Stratus420 out. Peace.